All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about what are some of the downsides of the surplus funds business? What are the cons? Okay, because for every pro, for every pro, there's a con. So I'm going to talk about specifically five downsides to this business. Okay, the first one is the time it takes to get paid. There's some folks out here saying you can get paid in 60 days, 90 days. Uh, in my opinion, that's BS. Now, can it happen? Yes, it can happen. Has it happened to me? Yes. Is it the norm? Absolutely not. Okay. Plan on, once you file a claim, plan on a minimum, bare minimum, 90 to 120 days before you get a check. Could be even longer than that. I've had cases take over a year, even two years to get paid. Okay. So because the money is being held by local governments, courts, the process to get that money is oftentimes not a fast process. Courts are slow, governments are slow, it is what it is. So we have no control of when we get paid. That's a major con of this business. Second downside, people think you're a scam, okay? Now, here's the thing, when you call someone, you tell them, hey, you've got funds from your foreclosure or whatever, what happens is, your good news, right? Your good news, it sounds too good to be true to them. And so they think this can't be true. It's got to be a scam. Because maybe you heard this saying growing up. I know I did. But how does the saying go? If it's too good to be true, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Maybe you've heard that. That's what people are thinking when we reach out to them. So that's frustrating. Because that's a big hurdle to overcome, but it can be overcome, okay, through education and consistent follow-up. Number three, downside of this business, it can be straight up difficult to find these people, okay? When someone goes through a foreclosure, oftentimes they've got other debt collectors, people coming after them, and they disappear, and they want to stay hidden for a very long time. And that can make our job very, very difficult, okay? So that's another major downfall to this business. Number four, obviously the government doesn't like people like us because in many states, if you don't file that claim within a certain time, they get to keep it, they get to use it. Some states, it just sits at the state, but you know, a lot of governments, they will try not to work with you or they'll deny your request or ignore you or try to steer you in the wrong direction because they simply just don't want to give up the money. And that's frustrating, okay? So you gotta be able to deal with that. And finally, you know, this business is tough. It requires consistent hard work to be successful. And uh, that's a bummer. <laughs> it's not easy, okay? It's not an easy business. It's a simple business. You know, find people that are owed money, help them get that money back. But the execution is difficult for some of the reasons that I've stated before this one. And uh, you've got to be persistent. You've got to follow up. A lot of times, you know, someone's not going to sign up with you on the initial call. You might have to talk with someone, you know, several times before they finally agree to you helping them. So you got to be consistent and uh, put in that work in order to see success. So for those reasons, this business may not be a good fit for you. You may not like this business. And uh, for every pro, there's a con. Those are some of the cons of the surplus funds business. Appreciate you watching. As always, check out the free resources here on the YouTube and in the description of this video.